Hello traders, welcome back to another episode of HM Trading Course. So today I'm gonna talk about my secret of trading, which is the no bottom week and no top week. I'm pretty sure you guys actually heard me saying this a lot, no bottom week or no top week during the live tradings. Here's some example. Uh, remain no bottom week if it pump towards 5-2 then yes this is not just a fifth like a five minute no bottom this is like a 15 minute no bottom week as well you know 30 minute don't have a bottom week <sighs> so here we go straight to the point on this chart right here this is one hour chart on go so how many candlestick you see right here don't have a top week or bottom week so we have top week we have bottom week here right we also have top wick and bottom wick all these candlestick right here so we also have top wick and bottom wick we also have top wick and bottom wick here so most of the candlestick right here have top wick and bottom wick all right i will say almost 90 percent of the candlestick has a top wick or bottom wick on the higher time frame the only candlestick that i'm seeing without a top wick right here clearly is this one other than that we still do have a top wick or bottom wick it just depends on is it a big top wick or is it a small top wick or bottom wick something like that there is a top wick or bottom wick but at the end of the day right the size the length is different uh, most of the time 80 percent or 90 percent of the candlestick that is a top wick or bottom wick so only one candlestick right here i'm seeing that that is a no top wick here so move on to us 30 let's see out of 10 candlestick how many candlestick don't have a top wick or bottom wick so let's cover it from here towards here so we can see that all of the candlestick has a top wick and bottom wick the first one here has a almost no bottom wick other than that right there's a top wick that's a small bottom wick right top wick bottom wick every candlestick have it right we don't have a bottom wick on this candlestick and we don't have a top wick on this candlestick other and don't have a top wick on this candlestick so other than that most of the candlestick at this time right 80 percent of the candlestick has a top wick or bottom wick but what does it mean when it comes to our trading so how can we use this as confirmations in trading so let's check it out here this is how normal candlestick look like right this is how normal candlestick look like with a top wick and with a bottom wick so candlestick without bottom wick can be look something like this all right they are actually pushing up but they don't have the bottom wick yet so bearish candlestick we go for no top wick so this is called no bottom wick and this is called no top wick so when is this situation gonna happen when is no bottom wick or no top wick candlestick gonna happen so when a candlestick is running towards the top without grabbing the liquidity to the low all right it's just one way to the top so at this point that's a huge chance for it to actually grab liquidity to the upside and potentially flipping down all right to create the bottom wick of the candlestick or even flip and turn into a bearish candlestick so seems goes to no top wick so it can be a bearish candlestick that is running currently so the bearish candlestick is running currently but without a top wick so a high potential chance for it to actually grab liquidity to the downside and potentially reverse to the upside and flip the candlestick and become a bullish candlestick or it creates the higher body right to create the upper body or become a bullish candlestick or forming the top wick here so how can we take a trade on this particular confirmations or signal that we receive is actually we need to take it on a candlestick that is still running the candlestick that is still not closed yet 
So no top break or no bottom break is special confirmations for me when I'm trying to look for a trade. So quick example right here, if the price is moving bearish and is close to a key level that is potentially making a reversal. And after that, we have a candlestick just open without a top break. So something like this, all right? It open up without a top break and remember this candlestick is still running so it tap the key lever and actually respect the key lever so what can be happen here is the price is potentially flipping up because there's no top break yet right the price is potentially flipping up to create the top break or even create the upper body to become a bullish candlestick right so it can be something like this right this candlestick has a high potential for it to grab liquidity to the downside and flip up to become a bullish candlestick at the end not most of the time but it's a good confirmation when it aligned with the key lever and it aligned with the buyers of the day so another example here when we see a break of structures all right so let's say this is a break of structures to the downside and we actually want to catch a continuation trade so and this happens so the next candlestick actually pull back up first right the candlestick pull back up but the special confirmation here is the candlestick without a bottom weight so again when the candlestick without a bottom weight here it might be a huge potential chance for it to actually grab liquidity to the upside and potentially flipping down all right to continue to go down at this point again not 100 percent of the time it depends on the market condition so what can it be is it can become a bearish candlestick like this all right if the price choose to flip down all right and continue to the downside this is one of the potential scenario when the candlestick is running and grabbing liquidity to the upside without a bottom break so that's a huge chance for it to actually flip down and become a bearish candlestick or just flip down to create the bottom break so if you're gonna use this as a confirmation of no top break and no bottom break there's three key points that you need to remember first thing is it should not be a strategy at itself right it should be a confirmation inside your strategy second key point is if the price is strong and aggressive to one direction with a super high momentum, right, when it don't have a bottom break or top break, it will just continue pushing up, indicate that the momentum is super strong and it did not want to form the bottom break. So this is an opposite scenario that can be happen if the price is aggressive moving in one direction. So do not look at no bottom break or no top break as a confirmation third key point is gonna be always use it with other confirmations like key levers like your bias of the days or the strategy you are currently using so this is a small guideline or small signal confirmations that you can actually look into when you see a no top week or no bottom week on a time frame that is around 15 minute 30 minute or one hours to daily time frame so next up i'm gonna show you more examples from the live tradings and how i really use no bottom break no top break on a live result so you guys can have a better understanding this is not just a fifth like a five minute no bottom this is like a 15 minute no bottom break as well you know i think with a risk manage yes mm, with a risk yeah. manage um let me manage my risk guys i'm in a small cell here 35 yeah, points stop loss. <clears throat> My entry is like 515. The, these, right, 45 pips up right now. Right, expecting this 15 minute to flip down to give us at least like a good, um, like a good 40 points, 50 points, right? To fill up the bottom range, yes, maybe. All right, One nice. minute, nice. Nice mm. rejections. We need a 20 points profit to give us in the break even. I 
crazy role, right? I mean, break even and it's still pushing down. Okay, break um, even and at... now I'm setting my TP. My setting my TP of at four five zero is where my TP gonna be. I got you, bro. Right, um, coming down. Right, nice. Down. Let's go. When it break the previous low, that's where we fucking go. Come on. Oh, let's go. Bro, Why? that's what I'm saying, bro. bro. Like one second, it comes it, out or down. No, one second it hit the fucking TV like out of nowhere. Thirty minute don't have a bottom weight. I think let's go for it. Let's go for it. Oh, I'm in a small position here, guys. With um thirty pip stop loss. All right, reasonable stop loss. So let's see if we can get this trade. Everything is calculated. The the stop loss is calculated. Um, break even point is calculated. The only thing that is not calculated yet is the take profit. We have a nice 10 points here, another push down, then I'm gonna put my stop loss at break even. So five minutes, you guys can see nicely bearish here, strongly. All right. Um, let's say 20 pips, All right? Nice. I'm gonna be closing 50% and let everything run. All right, we close 50% here. <coughs> we have someone here passing phase one, guys, in the gang. Okay, uh, I'm almost gonna be closing full. This is like 40 pips straight clean. You know what? I'm just gonna be closing full here uh, around 40 pips here, guys. That's it, done. And I'm up 3.5% for this account, Um, only for gold. We took this trade together, one trade at a time, if only if you have your own risk management and you need to have your own analysis and also um, risk management here. You can have a different entry, different stop loss, different take profit. Like I closed 40 pips and still running nice. So that's about it for today. Make sure to check out other videos on the HM Trading Course playlist. And always remember, trade with the right mindset.